Hi everyone, I'm Kremlin here for the Techies, and today I'm going to show you some pretty cool stuff in Google SketchUp. I'm going to show you how to, how to make a sphere or ball, and uh, how to revolve things in general. So first thing you need for all of this, you need to have this toolbar right here, which contains the Follow Me. If you don't sh if you don't see it, go to View Toolbars and then select Modification, and uh, it should pop up. And um, all right, first step in making a sphere, you're going to make a circle and go ahead and place it at the origin, like so. Now we want to duplicate the circle, so select it, hit Move, and uh, to duplicate something, you hold Control and move it like so. Make sure that it's aligned to the uh, blue axis or the Y axis, the one that goes up and down. And there we go. Now we have two circles that are parallel to each other. Now what we're going to want to do is rotate this top one. So uh, press rotate and select like a quadrant of it, I guess. And um, you want to move it around a bit. So there you go. It's red, so it's going to rotate like around the red axis and there you go rotate it 90 degrees right there all right now they are perpendicular to each other <clears throat> now it's time to use our follow me command now what it does is it uh selects something uh to kind of stretch an object around so in this case we're going to be stretching this guy around this uh perimeter here so, uh, first thing we need to do is what we want to select what we want to rotate it around. So we select that, then hit follow me, and then press what you want to ha actually be like followed or uh, stretched. And there you go, there's our sphere. Um, it looks more like a sphere if you go to view and you hit shadows. Um, but yeah, there you go. And uh, I will now show you some more examples of uh, the follow command. We can obviously do the same thing with uh, this circle following this one. So that would make a donut shape. So select that, like that. There's your donut. Um, also, let's make a cone. Why not? So uh, we are going to have cone there going up like that. There. Uh, and we want to move this probably. Wait, this entire thing. Move it up and then over so that it's uh, right over this. And this isn't going to be a perfect cone. Hold on. Let's move this axis back over here. Messed it up, I guess. <clears throat> Alright, now let's get it to follow this guy. So select your circle. Select follow me, and there you go. There's your cone. And uh, even cooler things happen <laughs> if you uh, select this as your following path. There you go. Now see, it took the circle and it made it follow the edges. So what we could do is go ahead and delete this. Just select one edge to follow and press follow me. What this will do is it'll create like a uh, an elliptical tube. So there you go. It's not a circle because it's at a slant, but uh, it's a tube. So that's a handy way to make ellipses. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm going to show you today. There's kind of infinite possibilities with the follow me command, as I've just shown you. Um, but yeah, thank you. This has been Kremlin for the Techies. Don't forget to visit th3techies.com.